Let's try another example of finding factors of a number. What if we were given a number that we're not as familiar with? Let's find all the factors of the number 42. Again, I'm going to make a factor T chart. I'm always going to start with the number 1 and then work my way through the number line. I know that 1 times any number is itself. So 1 times 42 equals 42. The next number on the number line is 2. I know that 42 is an even number because it ends in a 2. But I'm not exactly sure what number times 2 equals 42. So I can use division to find out my answer. So I can put 42 into my calculator and do 42 divided by 2. Or I can write out a long division problem, 42 divided by 2, 2 times 2 is 4. Two times one equals two. And I don't have a remainder, and when I don't have a remainder, I know that that number is also a factor. So two times twenty-one will give me forty-two. Now the next number on my number line is three. If I use my divisibility rules. I know that if the sum of the digits is divisible by 3, that number is divisible by 3. So let's look at the digits of 42. 4 and 2. 4 plus 2 equals 6. 6 is divisible by 3. Because when I count by 3, I go 3, 6, 9. I've hit 6. 6 is a multiple of 3. So 3 is also a factor of 42. Now, what times 3 equals 42? What's the factor that goes with 3? Again, I can put 42 in my calculator and do 42 divided by 3. Or I can do long division. 42 divided by 3. 3 times 1 is going to get me the closest to 4. 3 times 1 is 3 bring down my 2 and now I have a 12. 3 times 4 equals 12. 4 times 3 is 12. When I subtract I don't have a remainder. So here 3 times 14 is going to equal 42. Okay. The next number on my number line is 4, and I'm not sure 4 goes into 30, 42, so again I can put 42 into my calculator and divide it by 4, or I can do 42 divided by 4. 4 times 1 is 4, and I bring down my 2, I only have a 2 left over. There's nothing that I can multiply by 4 to get to 2. But here I have a remainder of 2. So 4 is not a factor because I have a remainder when I divide. The next number on our number line is 5. If I use my divisibility rules, I know that if the last digit is a 5 or a 0, the number is divisible by 5. When I look at 42, the last number is a 2, not a 5 or 0, so 5 is not a factor of 42. The next number on our number line is 6. When I look at my divisibility rules, I know that a number, if it's divisible by both 3 and 2, it's also divisible by 6. So let's look at the factors we've found so far. I see that we have 3 and 2 as factors. That means 6 is also going to be a factor. 6 times what equals 42? Okay, again I can put in my calculator 42 divided by 6 and I would get 7. 
if you already know your basic facts of 6, you know that 6 times 7 is 42. So 6 times 7 is 42. The next number in our number line after 6 is 7. 7 is already on our list. We have found all the factors of 42. If I write them out in order from least to greatest, I have the factors are 1, 2, 3, 6, 7, 14, 21, and 42. I can check that I have them all by using my factor rainbow. 1 times 42, 2 times 21, 3 times 14, and 6 times 7.